Do -do -do -do. I hope you guys can all hear me loud and clear, man. Um, <laughs> welcome to Sloan Street again. Um, on my way home, when I came across this thing here, this purple Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Hell yeah. It still smells warm. That means it's just been driven. <laughs> Look at it. This belongs to um, a guy called Kasim. You might have seen it in my last stream, or maybe that was a different stream, I can't remember. But this is obviously the pinnacle for Lamborghinis, like I've entered those series, the SVJ. 6.5 litre V12 engine lives in there, and this color is pretty amazing. I like it a lot. And uh, hell yeah, black wheels, and uh, black disc calipers as well. How about that, people? And uh, let me know how the sound is, by the way, but uh, this thing is so cool. Obviously, Kasim didn't mess around. This is a roadster because uh, the roof comes off. And obviously he specced it to hell and back with carbon fiber everywhere. And the roof, the wing mirror. Uh, I don't know what these are called, but that's pretty cool as well. And of course, when you come down here in the front, you got carbon fiber for days, man. Pretty nice. So coming to you live from Sloan Street. Um, there is nothing here at the moment apart from the SVJ. And uh, by the way, I got Malik Dean watching. How much, bro? So if in the US, this thing will cost you a cool, like a half a million dollars, man. That's a lot of cash money. And uh, here in the UK, G-Wagon. That is pretty dope. So that in your garage next to this is pretty sick. So yes, if in the US, a cool half a million dollars. And uh, here in the UK, it's about 427,000 pounds. I guess that's without options. When you start adding bits to it, it becomes super expensive. Another G-Wagon. Yes, yes. And, uh, oh my gosh, and that's the Brabus people. That thing sounds so mean, man, literally like lightning. Uh, I'm gonna try to read your comments as well. So uh, Malik Dean said that uh, Lambos are the most overrated hypercars, uh, overrated supercars. Well, I don't know about that, man. It depends who you speak to. Um, let me change cameras a little bit. Let's make it outro, right? Okay? All right, yeah, this is a little bit, a bit, a little bit of a better view. So they might be overrated, but uh, I can't. I love them, man. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a Lambo kind of dude, man. Especially in this color, they're pretty sick. They're so dramatic looking. They look so cool. Um, when you see a Lambo, you're gonna stop and have a look because you just can't help it. It just looks so freaking cool. And uh, that wing, that ala wing, as you guys can see here. Broke all kinds of records in Nürburgring, man. Gives all kinds of cornering ability. And uh, that V12 lives up in there. Look at it. It says V12 in there. Can you guys see that, man? This is blazing. It's hot, hot right now. It's crazy. And then obviously, round the back over here, some serious noise comes out. All kinds of, uh, yeah, V12 loudness. And uh, Kasim on Instagram, check him out. Carbon fiber diffusers, everything is pretty. Yeah, he just spec'd it out to the max. Expensive AF. But uh, let's take a walk down this way. I'm gonna go all the way to, uh, to Mayfair. Let's see what we can find. Uh, any more questions? Beautiful spec there, said the BDT. For real, man, that's one of the coolest looking SVJs uh, that I've seen recently out here in London. And uh, yeah, it's a quiet day, quiet Tuesday out here in, uh, in Mayfair, Mayfair, Sloan Street. And you see at the weekends, it's pretty busy up in here. You can see what happened here at the weekends, innit? All kinds of tire marks on the road and stuff. But during the week, it's quiet as hell. Nothing going on. But uh, I was gonna go home before I just pass through here anyway and uh, see what I can spot on the way. Uh, let me know how the sound is, by the way. Uh, hopefully it's clear. If not, let me know. But uh, so let's take a trip all the way to Mayfair. I'm walking, man. I'm walking. So uh, let's see what we can find there today. First things first, we're gonna go to the Park Tower Hotel and let's see if we find anything there. Ah. <laughs> shopping for days, man. All kinds of shopping going on there. And then over here, we've got a Maserati. I don't know which one. But, um, yeah, they're cool. They sound good, but uh, they're not that. I don't know. If you drive a Maserati, you don't get a lot of looks. But they're okay. It's practically a Ferrari underneath. I love that emblem, it's pretty nice. But they sound really good. 
but some say drive one of these is like uh, want to drive a Ferrari, but you can't really afford one, so you drive a Maserati instead. So yeah, I don't know what you guys think about that. Any fans of the Maserati? Um, yeah, they're quite nice, but I'd rather have a Ferrari if I'm really honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. But uh, let's go down this way and see what might be hiding down here. So far, over there, eh, eh, nothing. You know what, last week I was like riding through here and I saw like Patrice, Patrice Evra. He had this like crazy looking uh, fab design Mercedes like AMG thing here, man. I don't even know which AMG it was, but it was pretty sick. All right, I'm trying to read your comments as well. So we got Jason Peterson. Sound is clear, he said. Oh, thank you very much for letting me know. And uh, if you like Teslas, how about that? You guys are that nice, all right, allow it. <laughs> you got a Bentley here as well, drop top, because it's summertime, isn't it? That color is so Bentley, it's kind of ridiculous. You guys feeling that, man? Some say you got to be old to drive one of these, but I don't know about that. They're pretty cool still. Uh, let me read more of your comments as well. And uh, BDT said, uh, the only Maserati I love to see is the MC12. Hell yeah. If you haven't seen my last uh, video uh, from Joe McCary, check it out. There was an MC12 in there and it was pretty dope. Amazing car. This guy got to close this, man. That's like half open. That's not good. And then over here, we got a 488 GTB. A girl owns this one. And she drives it through Natsbridge quite often. Pretty nice. Obviously, resale red. Black wheels, can't go wrong there. And then we got a, ooh, look at this. It's pretty nice. Check out that plate as well. Damn. Not too bad. What do you guys think? Any Porsche fans up in here, man? That's really nice. Actually, I really like that. Like, the contrast is pretty cool. Hell yeah. Is that carbon? Oh, no, they cheapened out, man. Ain't no carbon here, man. It's just like a black, I guess, gloss plastic thing going on here. But uh, it's still cool. It's a 911. And it's not bad. Nice wheels. But well, I kind of wish it was all carbon fiber, man. But I ain't going to say no to that. What up? Yeah. Do you mind taking a picture of me? I, I, I'm doing it live, man. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's all right. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, that Porsche is pretty sick. Uh, let me read what your comments here. So, got Malik Dean selling out. Bro, can we see more of the Ferrari? Seriously? You want to see more of the 488? All right. I'm sorry, man. Here, here in the UK, London, we don't really like We see a 48, we're like, yeah. But uh, you know what? Since you ask, uh, I'll show you. Don't worry. <laughs> so this, they're really coming up in here, man. So this is a Ferrari uh, 488 GTB. Like I was saying earlier, it's owned by uh, a pretty young girl as well, man. She drives it like often through London. Uh, this car has a, a V8 twi twin turbo engine back in there. Oh, let me try and squeeze through here. Ah, I'm through. Uh, so up in here. There's a twin turbo V8. It's won the engine of the year, I think four years in a row or something like that. So you find this engine in the Tributo, you find this in the Pista, uh, in the F8 Tributo, all kinds of other cars, man. But that is, is very, very nice. So black roof goes really nice with the red. Makes the color look a lot lower as well. So I don't know what you guys think about the spec of this. I wish that was all carbon. It isn't. That should all be carbon as well, but carbon's expensive, isn't it? So uh, what do you guys think about this? You guys feeling this? <laughs> It is actually a really, really nice car to drive, apparently. And uh, that turbo might not be loud, but it is loud in the lower revs. It's quite nice. It's super powerful as well, so not too bad. Um, and then you got Tom, the OC, saying hello. What's happening, Tom? You got Valita saying, hey, what's up? What's happening, Valita? So you got enough of the, of the 488? <laughs> Should I carry on? All right, how about this BM Dubs over here? This is actually an M6. Not bad, man. This thing is uh, quite nicely spec too. You got kind of like nice dishy kind of wheels, blue calipers. And this guy did not mess around with the specs. As you guys can see, you got carbon for days here as well. That's always a good sign. Obviously the M6, M6 badge right here. Massive, probably 21 inch wheels on here. Look at those disc brakes, man, they're huge. But uh, those wheels are so sick. And then up front here, you can see, see that grill is nice. It's not too big. And he's got the tiniest number plate you ever see, man. Look how tiny these plates are. Those seriously can't be legal. Look at it. Look at the size of it. It's mad. M6 carbon fiber. Really nice. So I guess these two could be cool side by side in your garage. That for the daily, maybe that for the weekends and stuff. But then again, you can kind of daily a 488 as well. 
so not bad. But let's carry on walking. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, ooh, more questions. Okay. Uh, Malik said, uh, super nice, man. No worries, man. You ask, you get. If you don't ask, you don't get, right? And then Malik said, uh, what's the price tag? So the, the 488 will cost you, depending on what spec you go on, up to about 300 grand. So it depends like uh, what specs you want to put on your car. But it's stuck from about 280 grand, I believe. So not too expensive in supercar terms up here in, in, uh, in London. So yeah, not too bad. And uh, BDT said, uh, seen any M8s? Uh, nah, not seen an M8 yet. Still waiting. Uh, if you guys like small cars, then uh, you get a Fiat 500 over here, you get a Mini, and then you get an Audi TT over here as well. You got a Maserati, like um, SUV up in here. These are quite nice. I've seen a few of these in London recently. Uh, very, very cool. They sound pretty dope as well. The color on this is quite nice, but this guy or oh girl has dinged it, man. Look at that, man. Trying to squeeze through something that you shouldn't be squeezing through. It looks pretty messed up. But it does sound pretty sweet. Not bad. So the Levantes, uh, yeah, they're quite nice, but Maserati recently just, uh, I think they announced their MC20. So I'm looking forward to seeing that without camo. Because I saw it while I was in Milan. Milan? When I was in, um, uh, in Bologna, like back in March. And uh, it was pretty cool, man. All right, now we're going to leave Sloan Street at Nicebridge. We're going to head over to Mayfair. So hopefully we've got some nice goodies up in there. Let's see what we find. Uh, Luke said uh, the Levante, yeah. Nice name as well. It's a salty up in here, man. <laughs> yeah, the Levante is pretty cool, man. But I prefer the Urus. <laughs> I know it costs a lot more money, but uh, yeah, I much prefer that, man. I love that SUV. It is just roar. And then for those of you guys who don't know London very well, over there is uh, Hyde Park. That's where everybody chills in the summer. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. And then this way, we're going to Hyde Park Corner and then into Mayfair. So in the meantime, feel free to ask me any questions and stuff. So BDT try and said, uh, ha ha, yeah, the Urus is great. Yeah, man, the Urus like, when? What's that? We got ourselves a Jaguar. That's an XKR, I think. So a beautiful sounding V8 engine in there as well. I hope you guys can hear that, man, because it sounds really sweet from here. And all kinds of London buses, they're everywhere. London buses, taxis, and everything. Pretty insane. So Knightsbridge is like going through a whole massive renovation, man. There's all kinds of buildings being built up in here. And the restaurants, still pretty empty because of COVID. Look, everything is literally shut at the moment. Oh, there's a golf R just there. That was quite nice. Actually, let me zoom in a little bit because I think it's a little bit uh, back camera. Here we go. All right. Slightly zoomed in, slightly better quality as well. Ha! Some guy speeding in the Vauxhall, man. The new London taxis, all electric, but nobody cares. So uh, KHK, the guy who owns all kinds of hypercars and supercars, basically owns that hotel over there. And usually where you see that Bentley over there in the car park is where he parks his hypers. But I don't know if it's coming this year because this guy has like, <laughs> he has a Bugatti Chiron, he has um, a LaFerrari, he has a Centenario, uh, 918, and all kinds of other really cool cars that he normally brings with him when he comes to London. So we hope to see him again this year. If not, maybe next year, who knows? But like I said, all kinds of building work going on up in here, man. So you see that tunnel over there where those taxis are getting through? That is usually if you're driving a supercar through London or you've got a nice exhaust, make sure you go through uh, that tunnel because it sounds pretty sick. Hell yeah. All right, by the way, if it's your first time here, uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and also share the link uh, as well, please. It helps uh, more people find this stream and hopefully find this channel as well. Hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. And I hope 
I'm gonna find something that happens for you guys. But it is a weekday, so you just never know, man. You never know. It's getting dark up in here as well. All right, let me read your comments here. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. What was that? I just heard something nice and loud. Ah, it was a motorcycle, man. Who cares? Uh, oh, my gosh. All right, so Luke said uh, here, hey, from sunny Kent. Kent is a cool place, man. What's up? I hope you're good and stuff. BDT said, ah, I read that already. You going to make it to the Dorchester? Hell yeah, that, that's how I'm walking that way. De Oh my gosh, I swear that's an E-Type right there. An E-Type drop top, casually cruising through London, man. Apparently, voted by many car people as the most beautiful car in the world. Um, do you guys agree with that, man? Because <laughs> I think there's some more beautiful cars for real. But uh, some say that is the most beautiful car in the world. So I don't know about that. Uh, more of your comments, man. Uh, never seen London look so quiet for real. Man, since COVID, London has been dead AF. I mean, I, I've been like, when you were allowed to come out, I came out like every day to London. And as one day I came here, I, I, couldn't, I didn't see anyone, just me. No one was out. <laughs> no cars, nothing, man. Just me and Shmi out trying to vlog and stuff. It was kind of nuts. But uh, the classic London telephone box, if that's your thing. Uh, actually, that's, that's a bad idea. D don't, don't, don't look at that. That's bad. That's bad for you. <laughs> what a place to advertise, man. Jesus Christ. It's kind of nuts. Nobody wearing face masks except me. I am definitely wearing a face mask, man. Face mask. Face mask, man. You can't leave home without this. For real. But too many people taking it too casual, man. I'm like, eh, eh. I am definitely wearing a face mask. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm trying to scan. Check this out, look. Nothing's so crazy right now. Um, hey, switch to back camera. Okay. Even the stations are closed, man. The train stations are all closed up in here. Usually they're open. Usually they get tourists everywhere. Somebody got the wheels nicked. Damn. So this is a famous high park, man. The Marble Arch. Actually, it's not Marble Arch, is it? High park corner, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there is nothing to see here. Even that hotel over there, you usually see something nice in there, but today, absolutely nothing. It's crazy. You just got Priuses, man. Priuses for days. But don't give up. More wheels stolen. Jesus Christ, I hope my bike is safe. That's nuts, man. Teeths everywhere. Anyway, if you hear anything, let me know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes down here, see some cool stuff. All right, let me read some of your comments as well. All right, let me see what's going on here. So, you got that boy. What's happening, man? What day would you say is a day? Uh, Oh my gosh, okay, so you said, all right, let me, let me read this again. So what day would you say is the, is the day where most of the cars are out? Okay, cool. So usually Saturday and Sunday are the best days, for real. In the summer though, it could be any day, man. But weekends, you're gonna see more stuff, for real. Damn, man, there's nothing up in here. It is terrible. I'm just gonna leg it across. Ha! Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see if anything is coming down this way. You just never know, man. All right, let's cross. Can you see anything in there? Traffic for days. But this is like no traffic. This is nothing. Like when we're back to normal, man. There's way more traffic up in here. All right, comment time. So we got Luke. What's up? Blood gang. 
Hell yeah. More buses. Oh no. Yeah, BDT for real, man. It's a ghost town up in here. What is that? That is noise. Okay. Got an S3 up in there as well. And I think an M4. Dropped up. Not bad. You got that boy, LS. Sick, sick, he said. Man, right now, I, I would love to see some, some kind of Bugatti or something. If, like a LaFerrari, maybe, man. That'd be so nice to see. But in London, you just never know. Anything can happen at any time. Hey, Finn Loris, how about that? They don't smell good, man. Those things stink so bad. But let's keep on walking. Look how beautiful the sky is, though. Look at that, man. Seriously dope colors up in the sky. Like in the winter, man, it'd be raining here. It'd be cold AF. But in the summer, look at that. So beautiful. Come on, man. Anything like any other Lambo, please. Even like a horror card, man. Can't be that bad. I can see a Rolls Royce. Hell yeah. Look at it. Just actually, no, that's a Rolls Royce. Swear I'm seeing things, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw a Rolls Royce in my eye. Damn, man. Even here, there's nothing, man. I, I saw like a McLaren Senna, like in that hotel, like one day just walking home casually. But today, just got two taxis, man. Oh, I heard something. I think I heard a Lambo somewhere. Sounded like a V12. Ha, AMG GTR just in there. That's definitely not a GTR. That's a GT, that's a 50 one, isn't it? GTC 50, what they call it. That is not bad. I guess it is better than nothing. And like that, she is gone. And then we've got a Maybach over here, man. Look at that. There is nothing there. So over here, we have a Maybach. What do you guys think of that? Any fans of the Maybach? I don't think the uh, Mercedes make them anymore. But this is like quintessential luxury right there, man. Look how cool they are. Like, if you don't know what they are, you don't know what they are, man. They just sit there and just chill, but they're like uh, very luxurious, man. Is that a German equivalent of a Rolls Royce? Not bad. Look at the wheelbase, look how long it is. <laughs> but uh, yep, that's the Maybach. But let's go back this way towards the Dorchester. Actually, let's go by the main road, just in case we miss something. All right, commenting time. People ask me questions. All right, what else get on here? So, Luke said, uh, Golf R RS3 or A40. Ha! V8. Or A45. Ooh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for the A45, you know. They are pretty cool, but I like the RS3 as well, so it's between those two. But A45 is cool. Uh, I, yeah, RS3, A45, it's kind of like a... I have to flip for those two, man. Because I like them both. For real. Damn. I am not used to seeing London like this. <laughs> I'll be real. This is like, this is crazy, man. So, uh, dream car, like, what my dream car is in me? Dude, man, depends what day is, isn't it? I, I love all kinds of cars, man. It's like, uh, <laughs> oh, man, I'm obsessed. But anything from Lamborghini, but then I love Ferrari as well. So, you could say the F40, F355 is pretty cool as well. 288 GTO, I love those as well. From Lamborghini, I mean, where do I even start, man? Hit that with a Venino. <laughs> man, I will take any Lamborghini, like Pagani as well. It's like, 
Pagani as well. It's like it's hard to say just one car because I love them all for different reasons, man. So that's a tough one. If you, if you ask me what's my top 10, then maybe I can give you a better answer. But even then, it's difficult. So we got, uh, okay, what's up, man? Search for supercars, hell yeah. The best thing we've seen today is uh, NSVJ that we saw earlier on Sloan Street. But apart from that, man, London is kind of dead. That boy said, uh, yeah, I think I answered that already. FAO Hurricane Evil. Woo! Oh, man, you're killing me, man. Oh, what was that? Damn. F8 or Huracan Evil. Damn it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, you know what? I'm going to be real. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with a Huracan because that V10, man, sounds pretty... Oh, hold in a second, man. We got some jackpot. So that V10 sounds pretty... I, I'll come back to that. Check this out. Uh, camera. How about this a bath? You guys like this? Look at it. But that's what I want to show you guys. Start with uh, the Lambo over there, and I come back to this. But man, that is mean. Aventador S. That is pretty sick, man. Dark mode. That is fire. Ooh. I love dark Lamborghinis, man. I love them in color as well. But this is just like it's so mean. A Ventador S with a um, uh, something. Uh, oh my gosh, this is, what is this like a Nero kit, man? What is this? Is it DMC? Yeah, this is this a uh, uh, Ventador S with a DMC pack, man. Very, very nice. Look at the size of this wig; it's huge. Look at it. Carbon fiber. This thing needs a wash ASAP. But uh, it's really nice. DMC. I'm pretty sure it's a DMC. It does say it here as well. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Any fans of this? I think it looks kind of sick. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, that is dope. Everything's blacked out except uh, the disc calipers. And uh, it is just low. I, I just love that mean, kind of like low stance, man. That is so sick. So that is in Avento the S with a DMC uh, pack on it. Then over here, we have a C63S. Oh my gosh. Pound for pound, these things are pretty lethal, man. They are fast as hell. And they sound pretty dope as well. And uh, it's an interesting spec on this one. Gray with these like pretty cool highlights. And the wheels as well. Not bad. V8 by Turbo. Yeah, these things are like fast as hell and quite common in London. So what do you guys think about that? Very, very nice. This is uh, 45 Park Lane Hotel. And uh, yeah, so we found something cool. So that or this, you'd be crazy not to go for that. <laughs> but uh, ooh, what is this? We've got a Jeep up in here as well. That is quite mean looking. Look at it. I think I heard this thing is pretty loud. This thing's like crazy loud, but I love these lights, man. Look at it. Looks sinister AF. Jeep from America. Hell yeah. Wow, that interior is, uh, is definitely interesting, is what I'm saying there. It's quite loud. <laughs> Look at it. Hell yeah. Yeah, this thing's devilishly loud, like no joke. But I'll still rather have a an Urus, is what I'm saying. But uh, that is pretty dope as well. But anyway, let's keep on walking. Let's go now to the Dorchester. Let's see what we find up in there. Okay, so we're leaving for So if you ever come to London, make sure you check out 45 Park Lane because usually my first ever day car spotting was down here. And the first car I ever, like, hypercar I ever saw or spotted was a McLaren P1 MSO. I remember that day, man, it was insane. So check out 45 Park Lane. And then next to that, it's the Dorchester over there, man. But what do they have there today? Let's find out. Hopefully some nice stuff. 
Actually, let me just turn the camera around, innit? Switch the camera. Welcome to the Dorchester Hotel. Hell yeah! But, 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 oh man, it does look good, people. Look, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not good at all, man. This is, this is, it's pretty bad. What the hell is this? There are some serious cars missing up in here, man. There is nothing up in here. Look, no one at the doors, hotels are shut, nothing's going on. But look at this Brabus. Jeez, this is, that's nuts. Look at it. This is wild as hell. Man, I, I wonder what it sounds like. It is dope AF. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. That is seriously sick. By the way, what's the image like, man? It's all nice and clean as well, like the audio. Look at how mean this thing looks, man. B for Brabus. But that pack on it, look at it. Look at those like crazy wings and stuff on it. For all kinds of downforce. Damn. So this or an Oros, what would you have? I'm still having an Oros. <laughs> But that is pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. That's like murdered out like satin black as well. Wow. Okay, definitely feeling that. Definitely feeling that. Good sound and good image. Uh, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot, BDT. Then of course, over here, we got a, a Rolls Royce. Oh my God. This like, this for the guy who has everything in life. He has got nothing left to prove, man. It's like, you know what, man? I, I got everything I need. And this is just pure luxury, like you will not believe. Obviously over there lives the spirit of ecstasy. You can hide it underneath there, but this is just like big ass grill, looks cool and it's very imposing. And uh, the roof comes off as well. It is longer than London bus, but uh, man, that is cool AF. Yeah, definitely feeling that. So are you a Rolls Royce person or are you more like Bentley? I don't know. What should we do next? Let's walk by the main road just in case uh, we miss something. But that is sick. And this is a famous uh, Dorchester Hotel. But uh, because of COVID, there's not much going on. So I'm sorry, people. The search must go on. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me read your comments here. Um, so yeah, that Lambo is a beast. I uh, love those wheels. Yeah, for real, man. That's the, I, I guess you're talking about the Aventador S we just seen with a DMC pack. Uh, BDT also said, uh, saw that in the same sport, uh, sport Saturday, on Saturday. Yeah, I don't think that moves, man. It's like, it's been glued there forever. Oros wins, always. Sick. Anything, something cool, please, for us. But I guess we've seen two Lambos so far. We've seen a 488, we've seen an M6. What else have we seen? That massive Brabus. Food here is no joke. And it costs you an arm and a leg as well. <laughs> and this place is pretty nice as well, the ballroom. If you want a good night out, you know, like a chill place, come here. With your girl, obviously. Or with your boy, if you're that way inclined. But uh, yeah, it's cool up in here. This is the BMW showroom up here in uh, Mayfair. We've got some cars up in here. Look at that grill. Jesus Christ, look at it. It is huge. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take a left, a left or a right towards Mount Street. Just as a side note, you want to see how much things cost over here, man? Look at like, like this house here, right? This flat apartment costs like 5.2 million pounds. You guys see that, man? 3.6 for this. It's mad. Look at that. That will cost you 5.75 million. Crazy cash money. Nothing is cheap up in here, man. Everything costs money. And you're not like you're paying a lot of money, not for a lot. Paying a lot of money for like tiny little like flats, man, but they cost so much money, it's crazy. 
But anyway, that is London. It is a madness. The BMW showroom again. Man, I like anything, man. Even a Maserati, I'd be happy with that, man. It is so quiet. It's like, what's that? Oh, that's a bike again. Ugh. Damn you, motorcycles. Anyway, let's keep on walking. So what is the best thing you've seen so far in this stream? <laughs> what is your favorite car in this stream so far? Don't tell me a London bus. We got Mini up in here. I don't know if you guys have minis. But a JCW is quite cool though. This is a fun to drive. You never know. Oh, that, that is quite, that, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of dope, man. The mini GP, man, I think that looks kind of sick. What do you guys think about that? That wing, man, it looks mad. Yeah, that's kind of dope. At least in my eyes, anyway. But uh, let me know what you guys think. How about that? One for each foot. <laughs> hey. No idea what that was. But it's probably some kind of MG or something. Alright, I'm gonna take a ride over here. Let's see what we can find, man. Do -do -do -do. So, commenting time. Um, Trant said, uh, <laughs> I'm a mini fan. Yeah, the Mini Cooper, man, especially the original, are pretty cool, man. If you've seen the movie, The Italian Job, they're pretty sick. And once again, they're also like a lot of fun to drive as well. So, hell yeah. Minis are fun. They're like driving go-karts. Pretty cool. What I might do is cut through here. Got this hotel up here on the left. They never let you in. But sometimes you can see some nice stuff through the gates and stuff. So you never know, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, if it's your first time here, please uh, hit, up the th hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe. And also share a link on your social media so that more people can come here and uh, watch the streams and stuff. I'll try and do these a few times a week. Um, when I can. And when it gets to like late July to August, you're gonna see more cars as well. So I will come out a little bit more. Obviously at the weekends as well. Look at this, wow. There is nothing at the Grosvenor house. Look at it, absolutely empty AF. I guess hotels are not open yet because of the COVID things, isn't it? So what does it say? Anything about COVID? So following a UK government announcement on the 23rd, uh, of March, we are temporarily closed until further notice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty mad. Sick hotel, but uh, yeah, nothing going on there until the government says that they can open. That's crazy. They've been closed for four months, which is kind of wild. I can see a Bentayga, another very famous popular SUV up here in London. They are everywhere, man. They don't look that, that cool like uh, stock. I think they look better with a Mansory kit on them because that is quite boring. Just my view. <laughs> but uh, yeah, don't know what you guys think about it. The interiors are beautiful though. But just to look at, I'm like, eh, Oros wins again. See, Oros, my Lamborghini gets to look right. The rest, not so much. I mean, look at the Porsche. Doesn't look anywhere near as good. The Bentley actually looks better. But again, my opinions. Uh, BDT said, uh, do you ever ask to go into the showrooms of Ferrari, McLaren, etc.? If so, what's the response been? Um, I've never really had any issues going to showrooms, man. So especially Ferrari and Lamborghini. So um, I think if you're just nice, uh, you talk to people and you're a nice person, uh, I think it should be okay. So I've never really had any issues. So yeah. Just ask nicely, and good things happen, man. Uh, okay. What do you guys think about the Mini Coupe? <laughs> this thing just looks strange AF, man. 
Sometimes I think they look okay. Sometimes I think they don't look okay. So I don't really know which one's which, man. But one thing I will say for real is that does not look okay. A mini that's convertible? Hell no. I mean, that just looks terrible. I'd rather have that instead. From the front, it looks okay. When you go around the back, you're like, ooh, what's going on here? But anyway, if you're very future forward, you might like one of these, the Tesla. But I think Tesla's days are numbered though, man, because uh, <laughs> Porsche's coming for Tesla. That new Taycan, man, that looks pretty sick. Better build quality, probably faster too, and uh, handles better. So I don't know, Tesla, what are you gonna do? Your days are definitely numbered. Got another old Bentley over here, Flying Spur, as they call them. Uh, a guy with a dog. We've got a range over here. Another Tesla over there. Oh my gosh. So far, nothing worth looking at. Crazy. Anyway, now we're gonna go into a place called Mount Street. So Mount Street is um, usually some pretty nice cars parked out here as well. Like people eating at restaurants and stuff. And then they park their cars outside. So you see some nice stuff. So maybe we'll see something, you never know. Expensive shops. Stefano Ricci is obviously Italian. <laughs> um, yeah, you can hear plates clinking in the background because people are eating. Let me go on the other side. Ha! Wow. There is nothing to look at here, man. I guess that is cool if you're going away for the weekend. There's another one. Ah, this is pretty cool. What do you guys think about this? GT63S. That's not bad. You don't see very many of these in London. That's quite cool. Okay. That's not, ooh, okay. Now we're talking, look at, oh my gosh. It's a vantage, people. This is very, very cool. I love that rear, that is so nice. What do you guys think about this? This is very, very cool. That is like, yeah, even they think it's nice. Look at it. Now that, is dope AF. I just love how mean this thing looks. I mean, that black is just like, damn. Wow, okay. Any fans of Aston Martins up in here, man? This is the, I love this design. It's just so mean and just so raw. I think it looks sick. But my favorite parts are like uh, these little, like, uh, I don't know, slits up here on the bonnet as well, the air scoops, very, very nice. Very, very cool. Something nice is coming this way, or is it going away from us? Oh, it's going away. But this is really nice. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, I guess, a very special edition. It's uh, Le Mans, it says on there. And uh, yes, it's a V8 Vantage. This is so cool, look at that plate. <laughs> Gag. And then next to it, Oh, look, I just love all these little details. Look at those rivets on there as well. That is so nice. And then over here, we got an Oros we were talking about earlier. Just look how much cooler this looks than a Bentayga. Not just one, actually, we got two of them. Look, we got two Oroses. How sick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is very, very cool. Look at it. What do you guys think about that? That looks so much better than a Bentayga or anything else, or any SUV. And you got like deja vu, man. You got two of them side by side. Well, not side by side, but nose to tail. But that is pretty cool as well. Looks so nice in this light. Hell yeah. Uh, so we got BDT saying I'm a Mini fan, and AK saying uh, Mini should uh, make hybrid cars. Now, Mini, man. What is that guy doing, man? He is serenading no one. Um, yeah, look at that. Look at that line up there. Two Uruses and a Vantage. 
sick AF. Um, about Mini. All right, let me switch the camera around here. Yeah? Uh, front camera. All right. So about Mini. So basically what Mini are doing is that Mini are not going to be making like um, gas cars anymore. Like the Fiat 500, they're all going to go electric now. So the future is, uh, yeah, everybody moving away from petrol engines, man. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, things are changing. And uh, we've got a Porsche Cayman up in here. Turn the camera around so you guys can see. Oh, yeah. Go to the back camera. We got a Porsche Cayman. So these things are so much fun to drive, man. They handle so freaking well. It's like, uh, they're so well balanced. The engine obviously stays here uh, in the middle. So it's very nicely balanced. Like I said, it's a Cayman. And uh, yeah, they're very fun cars to drive. Especially the flat sixes. They, they had like a, a four cylinder version. You don't want that, man. A Porsche should never have, a, a Porsche should never have four cylinders in there. Six is what they're famous for. And you got another Mini here. We've got a Mini Cooper S. They look much better than the regular Minis for sure. Don't know about you guys and Beatles, but uh, <laughs> they are just like comedy cars, man. Look at it. Look at that ass, man. They got a big fat ass. And those massive childbearing hips as well. I mean, who is a fan of that? I don't know, man. They look too cute to be cars, man. It's, it's too much. It's definitely too much. It even comes with a flower when you buy one. <laughs> yeah, nice, nah, all right. I'd rather walk. But uh, what else is here? Oh no, we have nothing to look at here, except we have, oh, okay. That is quite cool. A nice welcome. And over here we have a Rolls Royce, oh yeah. I'll read your comments in a little bit. But this is just, oh my gosh. Luxury and decadence again. For the guy who has everything, he's got nothing more to, like, uh, to want in life. And over here, we've got uh, the, the what, what is it called again? The Portofino. So this car is the Ferrari Portofino. So if, it's basically the first car uh, oh, the cheapest Ferrari that Ferrari actually makes. So to get into the Ferrari family, you buy this. So this car replaced the old California. I think the Portofino looks a lot better. It looks quite nice compared to the, to the California. And this thing has the same engine as the 4A8 GTB I showed you guys earlier. But the engine doesn't live out in the back. It actually lives up here in the front. So yeah, there you go. We've got a Ferrari shield right there. And uh, it's a Ferrari. How cool does that look? That is so dramatic. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Would you buy um, one of these or would you prefer to get other Ferraris? I wouldn't say no to Portofino. <laughs> They're not too bad for what they are. But uh, anyway, this is the Corner Hotel. Also famous for like uh, nice cars. What's up? All right. Also famous for nice cars up in here as well. But today all we have is uh, a Portofino and uh, a Rolls Royce, which is better than what the Dorchester had because they had absolutely nothing. So there you go. Uh, okay, let's keep on walking. Oh, okay, let me read your comments now, man, because uh, I've missed quite a few. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, um, AK said the Mini should make, I read that already. So BDT said, uh, do you ever ask to go into showrooms? Oh, I answered it already. Uh, old, but gold. <laughs> I forgot what that was now. Uh, Best wheels for the Oros 2. Yeah, for real. Uh, and best SUV is Oros, 100%. We got Victor. What's happening, Victor? I hope you're good and stuff. And uh, you said, cool. Hell yeah. So we've seen a few things today. I was not expecting to see a lot of stuff, but we saw a few. The Oros SUV, definitely dope AF. Oh, no. Wow, I pressed the wrong button. What am I doing, man? All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, okay, front camera. Okay, so not too bad at the corner hotel. There's some really nice cars up in there. Uh, but the, the Portofino is an interesting one, man, because uh, on Instagram, it doesn't get a lot of love because everyone's like, oh yeah, it's just a Cali, but it's not really, it's actually a completely new car, man. It's different. So um, I would not say no to uh, the Portofino. 
don't know about you guys, but it's kind of crazy. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to Berkeley Square now, and uh, hopefully there's some cool stuff there. Hopefully something like, yes, worth like coming all this way to see, but you never know. Imagine a Bugatti Chiron or something. Like the first spot of something really cool that no one has seen yet. That'd be quite nice. We got another Bentley. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Huh? Too late. Camera back. Yeah, there he goes, man. Bentley. That's a V8 one. The W12 sounds so much better. Oh my gosh, look how dead it is over here, man. That's a Porsche showroom in there. This is so bad. <laughs> it is so empty. What is going on down there? Nope, nothing there. I got excited for a second. Oh my gosh. Chiron is a real beast for real. Man, if I see a Chiron right now, oh my gosh. That would be pretty insane. Thank you. Yeah. I remember when the Bugatti Chiron was delivered here, like um, a few years back at a Bugatti London, just around the corner from here. They delivered the first Chiron and it was pretty insane. This whole place went crazy. All kinds of car spotters came here. You had like spotters from France come all the way to the UK to see the Bugatti Chiron. It was pretty wild. That's when I first got into car spotting. I didn't really know what the hell I was doing, man. I was trying to film it and take photos at the same time, but it was difficult, man. <laughs> oh, my days. Okay. Let's have a look at Bugatti and see if we can see anything through the window. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my days. So we got Bentley and Rolls Royce up in here. But first, let's have a look at Bugatti and see what's up in there. Bugatti, Bugatti. I woke up in a brand new Bugatti. Imagine that. Oh, hell yeah. You got a world record edition. Like, can you guys see that, man? Like, uh, it's behind the one in front. Pretty sick. No Chiron's, just the Bugatti Veyron's, but they're still pretty cool. They're the, the limited edition ones. So quite nice. You got all kinds of Bugatti stuff up in here as well. Uh, I filmed here before. It's a very, very cool showroom, man. I love it. I love it in here. So yeah, what would you have, man? Front or back? World record edition. Is it two cars in there? Is it three? There's definitely two cars in there. So yeah, this is an amazing place. So again, because of COVID, this is what it says here, Bugatti London welcomes you. We are COVID-19 compliant. We have introduced social media distancing measures blah, 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 and all that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. COVID, man, you just started ruining everything. And then in here, oh man, look at that. Dope looking Bentley. Continental GT, not bad. And then we got a Continental GT drop top here as well. This one's quite special, it's got a one. I don't know what that one means, but uh, I guess this is like a one-off of some kind of, I don't know, something. But uh, it's very nice, man. Looks freaking cool. And then a flying spur. Very nice as well. You've got two flying spurs. So it's basically the top of the top of the Bentley that you can get. Extreme luxury. Hello. I love that light strip on the back. And then we've got a Bentayga again. And then you guys will be waiting for Ferrari. Oh my gosh. Do you want to see what's inside? Check this out. All right. Look what's inside. So we got here. How sick is this? The Ferrari Roma. So this car is actually based underneath is the same as a Ferrari um, uh, Portofino. But this obviously is a coupe uh, kind of version of that. So I don't know. I'd rather have this though over the Portofino, I think. It's really cool. It's, it's more of a GT car, this one. Again, engine in the front. I, I just like the, it just looks cool. It's, it's, it looks very American. It's got those very 
rounded kind of like nice bumps on it, man. Like old classic Ferraris from back in the day, like in the 60s and 50s and stuff. So what do you guys think about the Roma? Do you guys like it or you don't like it? I like it. So let me know. Pretty cool, huh? Then over here, we're going to Efe Tributo. That is pretty sick. Not going to lie. Even in that color as well. That is super wild, man. I love that. So to choose between the two, I'm definitely going with the Efe Tributo. <laughs> but that's not too bad. Hell yeah. And again, uh, more COVID stuff. Showroom open by appointment only. So you just can't... So you just can't walk in at the moment. It's an appointment only. So you gotta be a special person. You gotta book an appointment if you can walk in. So yeah, there you go. COVID man, just leave. But that is pretty dope. Anyway, let's leave Ferrari. And uh, let's, oh, hello. A nice little screen in there. Cool. Yeah, nice little show. But this, I, I've never heard, an, um, the, the Roma. I haven't seen it move or even heard it. So that sounds more like uh, some kind of huracan. But uh, yeah, I want to see this actually move, man. It's like uh, they look pretty cool. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> and uh, let's keep on walking, man. Let's see what else comes up. Is that oh that's definitely a huracan. All right, let's see if it comes back this way. Ooh, that V10 sounds so cool, man. You cannot beat the sound of a V10 sound. Um, so questions I was asking earlier. So Victor said, uh, "Cool, I'm a Ferrari fan, but Lamborghini V10, yeah, for real, man. The V10 is just sweet sounding AF. And then over there, you got a V8." Twin turbo G Wagon AMG G63. Pretty cool. Where is that Huracan, man? Oh no, it's not coming this way. What a shame. But uh, keep on walking down here. There is nothing going on out in here, man. Oh, hello. I can see a McLaren 720S. This thing is fast as hell, man. This car doesn't get the respect it actually deserves. How cool is that? It just looks, it looks like a sign from space. Yeah, this is cool. McLaren 720S, very innovative. And I think it's a beautiful car, depending on where you look at it from. But from this angle, that backside is pretty sick really nice so okay said uh yeah you prefer the roma <laughs> yeah roma is pretty cool man so what happened to the sf90 shodali so the sf90 i guess has left and gone somewhere else because uh, it, it goes around the showrooms in england so it's definitely gone but that is so cool g wagon g wagon g wagon hell yeah man they're everywhere in london you've got another um mercedes suv up in here Just looks so cool in uh, in mean black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way back to Sloan Street because uh, I think it's pretty much dead over here now. It's over. Is there anything here? Let me see. Let me see. Nope. 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 Actually, what I'm gonna do is uh, let me walk down this way, just in case. Just in case. That place, Sexy Fish, is where I, I spotted my first Bugatti Chiron driving on the road. It was the first one in the world as well. Two years before, anyone could get one. And it belonged to uh, B14. And I spoke to him right in that spot over there. It was kind of sick. And I spotted that car right here in the traffic lights. And it was the first spot of a Bugatti Chiron in London. It was pretty mental. It was nuts. It was a crazy day. It was a crazy day. Mayfair smells like oud. Oud is like a Middle Eastern perfume. It's quite nice. But uh, there's no one, man. 
There is literally nobody out here. Okay, let me read your comments. Uh, what you guys saying? I kept saying Mercedes are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Mercedes, man, they got London on lock. Like uh, the executive, the exec cars are all Mercedes. And uh, there are a lot of Mercedes G wagons as well. Talking about Mercedes, here's another Mercedes. It's a Mercedes takeover. And then you get a Vauxhall. <laughs> oh, what's that? I heard something like a. Is that a Huracan I just heard? I swear I heard something. There's definitely a Huracan on an Audi R8 coming. I was wrong, it's a Maserati. It's gone away from us, damn it. Wow. There is nothing here, people. You got two girls on skates. Are you recording, Austin? I'm live. Huh? <laughs> huh? You're famous already. Oh my gosh. You got two girls learning to skate, man. There's nothing funnier than that. You got another Maserati um, SUV. So the second one that we've seen, is that Levante as well? Yes, it is. It's a Levante in white. Not bad, ooh. G-Wagon. AMG G63. Very, very cool. Oh my God, look what we found. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we got a car, okay, all right. We got an Aston Martin DB11. Driven with Sam, interesting. Very, ooh, that, that, that is, that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. That looks freaking beautiful, man. Uh, what am I talking about, DB11? <laughs> this is <a> DBS. <laughs> it's a super legera, man. What am I talking about, man? Look at this beautiful thing. Oh, my days. Yeah, it's sexy. And then right next to that, we have this. It is an SVJ. Oh, my gosh. Stealth AF. I think I, if you look at my last post, or my last two posts, one was of this car, man. I shot it in the middle of the night. Yeah, that, that is pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Freaking amazing, man. It just looks so me. So we have, uh, yeah, we have some Vipers. We've seen two SVJs today. So a purple one and this one. But that Super Leger is so nice. That wing is ridiculous. 6.5 liter V12, man. So what would you have though? Would you have this one or the purple one I showed you guys earlier? I think I'm going with the purple one, you know? And again, carbon fiber for days on this one. Hell yeah. So sick. But that's super legera. My God, that looks so mean. Ah, oh, I love this car. Damn it. Yeah, man, look, look at the booty on this thing, man. It's like, uh, I know I should be looking at SVJ, I know, but this is kind of cool as well. Damn. So, DBS Super Legera, for real. Uh, hey, Caleb, what's up with man? I hope you're good and stuff. And, uh, oh my gosh, let me read your comments here. Mercedes are everywhere, I read it already. Uh, Russell said that DBS, yeah, I read it already. Black one, so you prefer the black over the, um, the purple one. Okay. No problemo, respect. BDT, the color on the Super Legera really pops. For real, that's what caught my eye, man. I was like, damn. That just like underneath the street lights, just like, it is just popping like crazy. It's just like, damn. Yeah, that is sexy as hell. Actually, let me take off the polarizer, man. It's getting dark up in here. Let's get some more light. Hell yeah. Oop, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. I just love how like mean this car looks, like how low it is. That massive grill, you, you, you have to love that. There's no way you can't love that, man. That looks so sick. 
to me anyway. It's like, and then that like the rear hips and stuff looks so nice. But that color is definitely epic. But I think that's pretty much it, man. There is like a, we came from Sloan Street to Mayfair. And this is all that I could find. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, and then over here, another SUV that we see a lot of in London is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. So yeah, some say it looks like the London taxi, but I don't know about that. But look how cool that looks. Damn, people. Yeah, that's pretty sick, man. That looks pretty mad. It is just huge, man. This thing's massive. That interior is luxurious as hell. Got a 911. Yeah. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Listen to that. <laughs> Egg 3D. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds quite mad. Six cylinders, just like that bass sound, man, is sick. Oh my God. So what is your favorite Porsche? 917 Turbo S GD2 RS GD3 RS GT3 maybe 918 This thing is old but uh, it looks classic man it's, it's a beautiful shape you can't miss this man it's like I love the shape on it and then you got that massive wing in the back cool cool Look at it. Oh my gosh, and it smells so nice. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling, man. It smells so good. Oh my days. But anyway, uh, let's leave that. So this is the Novikov restaurant. This is basically where all the stars come and have the, their drinks and the food and stuff like that. This is where I met Obama, Obama Yang uh, one time when he brought his live Ferrari and uh, his Aventador as well. It was cool, man. And then he brought his gold Urus here as well. And we're just cracking joke up in here. He's a dope guy. And then over here, we've got a guy called Toby. And he's a valet up in here. That's him over. Where am I, where am I looking, man? Actually, I forgot. <laughs> I'm facing the other way. So that's Toby over there. So. How are you? How are you doing? You all right? See yeah, and you too, man. I'm, 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 I'm live. Uh, Sam, I believe so. You're the DBS. Super Legera guy, isn't it? Yeah, DBS, okay. yeah. Dude, like, do you mind talking about the color and the spec on that thing? Of course, can. Quickly, like, yeah, yeah. okay, um, what was the inspiration behind that? Because I think it looks amazing. Thank you. Um, behind the color? Yeah. The car, so it was actually, I had the car sat in black before, and I was actually going to get it re-wrapped because it started to peel a little bit, obviously, when we had the hot weather. Yeah. So I went down to get it re-wrapped, and I was just looking through, like, the color chart, and I was like, yeah. oh, that's a nice color. He's like, well, I've got a roll of this and stuff. I was like, so I drove down, left the car there, yeah. and then came back the um, following week. Yeah. And the car was uh, it in pops. Color. It's called Luscious Red. Luscious yeah, Red, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's the look of the car world. No, it's sick, man. It's like, uh, I think you tinted the lights as well, didn't you? It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you have a little walk around the car? Yeah, for sure. Let's do that. Yeah, so. <laughs> look at it, man. I, I love this car. Watch yourself. Oh, oh, Don't yeah. you get him run over before. No engines. This is the problem, isn't it? You can't, you can't hear, hear them coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. You've got yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at and it. So, yeah, so obviously tinted lights, um, yep. front car. So, obviously, this has got the carbon pack on it. Yeah. So, obviously, front splitter, carbon. Woo! <coughs> got rear spoiler. Yeah, obviously, carbon yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and when you, because it's gloss black originally, yeah. um, so it doesn't really show off the curves and the lines of yeah. the carbon. So, I've had it Nardo grey, I've had it wrapped wow. Nardo grey. Uh, wrapped satin black yeah and, and this red but this is my favorite one i think uh, I've, uh, I've had the car like you say uh, when was it april april yeah. yeah last year so yeah i'm always oh. talking with the idea of changing cars but yeah <laughs> do you know what there's there's so many cars out there but yeah there's not many of these on the road i mean i, j I love the way they look man they got that the stance is really nice isn't it it's so nice yeah, it's low and awesome. wide well, as, well. as well so. you had the lowered as well yeah, by, yes. by how much um, how many well, 
the so the springs. Yeah. Um, there was a, there was a prototype. Yeah. Um, for a company called Apple, they they're literally based next to the uh, Mercedes F1. Um, nice. Down in Brackley. Yeah. So there was supposed to be 22 mil <laughs> all round. Yeah. And when he measured it after, because there was a, a prototype spring. It's like I've actually measured it and it's dropped 44 mil. Wow, around. it looks so much better like this. So, it? but yeah, the, the stance of it, like now, it sits nice. And so for, for a GT car, it sits, like I say, uh, yeah. it sits pretty low. Man, you got a V12, man. Come yeah. on, you kind of. Yeah, yeah, twin turbo. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I, the red and the black work so well because yeah, uh, you got the black trim as well, makes it look so much lower yeah. as well. It's red stitching inside, so on the seats as well. Oh red my gosh. Stitching on the seats. Yeah. Red calipers. Nice, yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, rather than black. And, and to be fair, like you say, I think like black wheels, like you say, black tack lights, the carbon. Yeah. Like most colours will go with that. Yeah. You know, but this up to now is my, my favourite colour. I'm always thinking, like, what am I going to get next? What colour? I'm always <laughs> thinking that line, like, do you know, I think it's a good summer colour. Yeah, it's like, even like in the night, it just it still pops as well. I yeah, can imagine it it's like in the sunshine, it's looking pretty this crazy. Isn't, this isn't clean to me, so I haven't had this clean life. I'm also there with keeping the car pretty yeah. clean, so I'm up in Birmingham. So I'm down here like once, twice a week. So yeah. on the motorway, obviously you get a lot of uh, traffic. So this is uh, this is dirty for me. It's sick. Yeah, it caught my eye. I was literally just walking by. I was like, what the hell is that? And I realized what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's dope. Thank so, you very much for showing me around. No worries, man. All you, right. Uh, you around a lot? You down here? Yeah, usually like uh, most weekends I'm around, like Saturday okay. or Sunday. I'll follow you on Insta. Yeah, for real, man. You gotta love the summer. It's there like go, it's that. a raucous. It's R A. Yeah. W. Yeah. K U S. T V. That yeah. That's me. Yeah. That's it. And I'll make sure I follow you back because uh, yeah, definitely. Happy days. Yeah. yeah. Only started. It's running on Insta. Um, end of December. Yeah. So we've got like uh, in case. Not bad, man. Not so bad. Literally, one of the first post I did was. You definitely like it. Twenty ninth. Twenty ninth. Wow, that's that's crazy. Yeah, so that was a this was even the not first for that. Yeah. Um, can I show the guys this on here? Of course, like can uh, yeah, so here we go. So this is uh Sam's Instagram, so check him out. It's uh drive with Sam, it's underscore. Is that underscore, yeah. right? Drive yeah, so Sam check him out on uh, on Instagram. So this was Sick. Oh, that was the colour you had before. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That... So it's gloss black. See, that blue. pops as well. So I like the contrast of the yeah, Nardo, yeah. Oh, Nardo and the black. It's so nice. Yeah. So you've got James Bond's car there. Yeah. And he had it like a. That's the original. Oh, come on, man. That is, so, yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, that's mean, man. That, that's cool. Batmobile. See, yeah, Bruce, that, that's proper cool. Bruce Wayne edition. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. See, for me, it's uh, either this or that. Like, uh, that is mean. Yeah, it's but like I look a, at the grey as well still. Yeah. Like, but it's a contrast thing, isn't it? The grey and the black. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I mean? that pops. That definitely pops. Yeah, it's sick. I think all the colours have suited it. Yeah. It's definitely that kind of car, isn't it? Because the lines on it, man, they're so well pronounced yeah. as well. So it just brings out like, the shape of it really, really nice. But, uh, yeah, let me know when you're next to London. Just yeah, yeah. DM I'm me or something yeah, like that. And, uh, twice, uh, yeah, the twice the week I'm so... Cool. Yeah, I, keep, I keep looking at these feature hikes as well. I'm like, oh, the, great. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, with naturally aspirated cars, yeah. I mean, the twin turbo V12, do you know what I mean? The, the torque is like, it's like 830 pound foot of torque in this. Yeah. So it's, it's a punchy car. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're different animals, isn't it? I mean, yeah. this one like, for long drives, if you need like you know cruising it's around, comfortable. yes, Literally, they're comfortable, uh, right? But you, you've got the best of both. Yeah. This, like you say, you, even though the, it's got two small seats in the back. Yeah. Um, it's not really practical for adults. Kids, yeah. it's fine, but I'd yeah, it's a it's a tourer, but for a, for a GT car, it's so comfortable. Yeah. So Thirty to the gun on the motorway. I mean, like for oh, yeah. this size car, the engine. That's. Um, that's pretty Plus impressive. No caps on the car as well. Yeah. Now I'll be honest, man. These are like comfortable. We we were in Bologna uh, in March. Yeah. We took one of those up around the hills. I'm telling you, man. Our backs were out like <laughs> after an hour because it's yeah, so uncomfortable. Oh, but this, like you say, obviously from Birmingham to London, yeah, like two and a bit hours. I mean, I could drive back home as well and like not feel like yeah getting a new back. Yeah, for real. <laughs> But uh, I really appreciate you stopping no worries, and, and showing us your car, all right? No worries, Take it easy. Right, look after yourself. And, and you I'll, too, I'll man. Drop your dame when I'm down next. No worries. Right, Take it easy, Sam. All right, peace out. All right. So, um, 
yeah, we're gonna hear this thing leave. So, you guys ready? V12 about to go nuts, hopefully. See, that just sounds angry already. And that is stock as well. Jesus Christ. waiting for him to like just shoot off so you can really hear this thing yeah, yeah for real <laughs> yeah it's mad so uh, let me let me uh, read your comments while I wait for um, for him to leave right so oh my gosh uh, Keenan oh, you got so many new people here by the way guys if you're new here uh, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up button and feel free to share the link on your social media as well so other people can tune in as well but uh thank you so much everyone uh okay caleb the la la trance appreciate that tour the tour tonight no problem bd trance it was really cool to walk around london 918 yep <laughs> that is a pretty dope car as well uh gd3 rs again another seriously dope car especially on track it's pretty mad uh, where else? Uh, Super Dreamy Cars did a nice color choice. For real, I guess you're talking about the Super Legera uh, DBS. Damn. Um, yeah, so for real. And <laughs> what else is here? Keenan uh, RSC said, uh, Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm, I'm all good, man. Just uh, taking a walk through London and uh, showing you guys what I can see. And BD Transit, BDT Transit, a uh, cool guy, down to earth. Yeah, so chill. We get so many cool, chilled out people up here in London. It's ridiculous. Uh, we're so lucky and blessed up in here. Uh, Caleb said a nice guy. Yes, he is. Very, very dope. Check out my Instagram as well. Uh, that looks stunning. Absolutely. And then uh, Keenan R6 said a nice one. No problem. Uh, much love. Uh, break, brassic, <laughs> brassic man. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Proper guy, for real. He's a dude. Uh, Murphy said, I, I once get around in a DBS. Oh, I've never been in DBS, man. They, they look proper sick. Man, I wish it, it smells so good as well. I'm right by the exhaust. Uh, Luke said, uh, what did I miss? Uh, you missed a lot, man. I've been walking from Stone Street all the way to Mayfair. Uh, basically just showcasing the cars that I see along the way. And then I came here and I saw this. Super Legera DBS. Pretty sick. Uh, AK said, uh, ah, what a sound. For real. It sounds like thunder. Caleb said, so good. Hell yeah, man. And uh, ladies, man, what's happening, man? Long time no see. Sounds awesome, you said. Um, and there is a, I forgot what you said there. There's an Avenger SVJ too. Yes, uh, I had a tour around that one already. As soon as uh, the DBS leaves, I'll go around it again. Uh, Caleb said, uh, what's your favorite car? Oh my gosh. Uh, I have so many. Anything from a Lamborghini, Ferrari, man. It's like, it's hard to say, man. I love, like, um, what's that? I heard something. Am I hearing things? Hold on. I think I heard something. Yeah, I definitely am hearing things, man. So, uh, like Pagani Zonder, man, especially the Cinque, I like that as well. I like the Bugatti Chiro, man. It's like it's difficult to just say one car, man. It's like uh, I love them all for different reasons, isn't it? Uh, where else have I said here? So, ladies, man, said uh, beautiful as hell. Hell yeah. But it's all these little details, isn't it? So he had it lowered by like, uh, I think 44 millimeters or something like that. So this car sits low and it just like, it looks so much wider and meaner. Almost as low as, um, I don't know, like a Valkyrie or something. And of course, it's put carbon all around it as well. So this car has had many, many lives. It's been several different colors as well. When he bought it, it was black. And then he wrapped it in Nardo gray. And then now he wrapped it this, uh, this red as well. I forgot what he called it. Uh, it is pretty sick. And uh, yeah, like he just said it was low and it is. Look at it. It's absolutely mad. 
Uh, where else are you guys saying? Let me read your comments here. Da -da -da -da. So, Murphy said, I love these streams. Oh, man. I appreciate it, man. I love making them as well. I will be doing more of these, like uh, now that summer is here. So, every evening, I'll try and do one if I can. Uh, oh, press the wrong button there. Whew. Oh, in a second. Super Dreamy Car said, uh, real, real chill dude. <laughs> nice chat with him. Love the color combo on Aston Martin. Best one I've seen, for real. Uh, it's, it's a wicked, wicked color, man. See, it looks this good in the dark, right? Imagine this thing like during sunshine or during the day or something like that. It's pretty insane. And uh, Caleb said, uh, yeah, nice. And the ladies man said, uh, wow, London has lots of cool cars. Oh, man, bro, you haven't seen nothing yet, man. Like, it's, it's like a, a weekday, so not much is going on. But at the weekends, you get to see a lot more. And especially in the summer as well, you see a lot more than this. But uh, we're just going to see this thing, this thing leave and I'll make my way home again. <laughs> Does it smell good? You're going to move this one? Oh, okay. We're, we're going to get... A... <laughs> hey, people, look. Check this out, look. I've got myself... My, my own car right here, so I got myself an SPJ. Any day, whenever you want it. Any Absolutely, day. man. Can, I, I'm gonna take it right now. Anytime. Like, uh, <laughs> jump in, jump in. <laughs> look, look at it. Look, people, check this out. Look, a Ventador. So you got a thousand miles, I think. That's pretty crazy, right? SPJ. That interior is so sick, man. Like, uh, oh my gosh, it smells new as well. It smells literally brand new. Let, let me give it back. <laughs> All right, let's hear this. You ready? Listen to this. <laughs> this is gonna sound so loud. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, all right. V. <laughs> we have a rev match going on here. Oh my gosh, the smells, man! It's all about the smells. The SPJ is. <laughs> oh, that sounds so cool. Easy. All right. Oh, my gosh. You can never get enough of the V12 sound, man. That's it. That is so sick. <laughs> oh, look at it. With the lights on, everything is so crazy. Tobes, I'm going to run. Love but so fun. good to see you, man. Be safe. I'll see you soon, all right? Take easy. All right. All right, people, I'm going to head over to Sloan Street again. I'm going to carry on streaming anyway. Uh, if I see anything along the way. <laughs> Take it easy, mate. All right, so we're going to have to say goodbye to, uh, to this SVJ and head over to uh, Sloan Street and then off home again. So goodbye, SVJ. And uh, goodbye, um, MG G63. Oh man, it's like, look at it. That is just, oh my gosh. You see, this is why I love Lamborghini, man. They are just so freaking cool. Like everything about them, the way they look, the way they smell, the design, the whole thing is just like, how can you not love that? But anyway, let's go back to reading your comments, people. Uh, I definitely missed a few things here. Uh, okay. So, Super Dreamy Car said, uh, needs to come back down to London. Yeah, for real. Cut, like, um, if you want to make it worth your while, try and come back at weekends. That's what you want to do, because uh, you're going to see more things then. And that ladies' man said, uh, uh, <laughs> ladies' man Turbo SV. <laughs> I guess you like Lamborghinis as well, right? Uh, you said Aventador SVJ sounds amazing and uh, badass. Hell yeah. That thing sounds amazing, just stock. Another Mercedes, man. Yeah, it sounds amazing stock. But uh, when we were in Italy, we pulled out the, the valve. <laughs> so it just like, the sound that thing made was unbelievable. It was amazing. Just like, it's intoxicating. Like, when the roof is off as well, it's like, ah, it's hard to explain. But uh, anyway. So that was a quick little walk through London. And uh, we saw some pretty amazing cars here. 
started with an SVJ and we ended with and we ended with an SVJ as well. Actually, it's not quite over yet. I'm still gonna walk back to Sloan Street and I'm gonna go home after that. But uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of today's stream. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do thumbs up, share, and all that stuff. Uh, and I have to keep saying this. <laughs> oh my God. So Sexy Fish is a very cool restaurant, man. They've got something very, very sexy fish in there. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm talking about the food, by the way. Don't know what you guys are thinking. Uh, and then you got B at one. Yeah, it's a different scene. It's definitely a different scene, man. But uh, yeah, not right now. I smell of SVJ and I smell of Super Legera, man. And I like that smell. I like it a lot. Okay. So we're going to go down Mount Street, where those two Oroses were, and then through um, there down to High Park Corner, and then back to Knightsbridge, and then Sloan Street. And then that will be the end of the stream for today. Pretty sick. Uh, OK. Let me read your comments, man. I think next time when I get my new phone, next time I'm going to get a, a, a bigger screen phone, man, because uh, it looks better when you're streaming. Because when you hold the camera like, far away from you like this, you can still read stuff nice and clear. Okay, commenting time. Okay, Super Dreamy Car said, oh, okay, I obviously missed a few things here. Oh my gosh. So you got Vision X, he said, yo, what up, man? I hope you're good. Uh, whereabouts, uh, whereabouts are you? So I've just left Novikov in, uh, in Mayfair. So I'm now around Berkeley Square, heading over to Mount Street, which is on the left of the end of this road. So that's where I is. Uh, let me read more of your comments as well. Du -du 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 -du. Super Dreamy Cars said, uh, I work near Victoria, so I, I get to see loads of cars. Only this virus has kept me at home, for real. This virus, man, just destroyed everything. It sucks. But we'll make a weekend night, for real, man. Things are getting better. Make sure you come out. You come out with a mask as well, yeah? The virus is still here, man. It ain't gone. It's still here. Look, we've got another Maybach. Second Maybach today, or is it the same one that we saw earlier? Look. Decadence. Absolutely cool AF. Uh, what else have I missed? BDT uh, said, uh, awesome stream again. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for like hanging in there. And of course, for tuning in. And uh, Super Dreamy Cars said, uh, Victoria. Yeah, Victoria is not too far from here, actually. It's just around the corner, man. So, wow, another taxi. You never hear these things, man. It's just like, you realize too late, another G-Wagon over there. Whew. So I've got a new mic set up for these like uh, street streams. So hopefully today's audio is a lot better than the last one. So I have a listen when I get home a little bit later. But hopefully everything sounds better and the image looks better as well. So hell yeah. But usually in the summer, man, you get to see so many Lamborghinis, man. So many SVs, uh, Aventadors, uh, well, Aventador, Aventador SVs, SVJs. But this year is just like, uh, I guess it's too early. It's a little bit quiet. A little bit too quiet. Let me see if they've got a Taycan in here. In the Porsche showroom. Is there a Taycan? That's the only electric car that I actually like at the moment. Also the Lotus Evia, that's pretty nice. Yeah, just uh, Caymans up in here. Whoa, that Panamera looks pretty wild. Yeah, that's a nice color too, damn. Panamera, that's a, uh, it's a hybrid one. Is there a Taycan here? Ah, oh, shoosh. Yeah, there's a Taycan around the back. You guys see that, man? 
There's a dark speck Titan right there. I saw two of these at the weekend, man. The black one and the white one. The white one looks so sick. It looks like literally, yeah, the same as the concept car. Uh, that is a beautiful look, man. But the black one looks mean as well. Yeah, very nice. I like what Porsche did. They kept the car as close to the concept as possible. That's how it should be done. Not what BMW did with the M4, man. <laughs> the concept was so cool. But then the actual car, when it came out, it was like, oh no, what have you done, man? They completely messed up. Big time. Damn, look at these, man. I wonder how much a t-shirt cost. Probably a lot of cash money. It's kind of crazy. So if you got cash money, you come and eat here. Let's see what it says here on the uh, prices. Actually, it's not too expensive. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Huh. Yeah, it's not too bad. Interesting decorations in the windows and stuff like that. I once shot a video here for Robert Perez's wife, ex-Arsenal footballer. She was launching her brand in here and I shot a video of her launch. It was pretty sick. It was cool to meet Olivier Giroud, Robert Pires, and a whole bunch of other Arsenal uh, footballers. Say hello to the Targa. So nice. I love this water feature, man. It's so cool. Literally, it's cool. Very refreshing. All right, let me read your comments. Max Larson, what's up, man? How are you doing? It's definitely your first time here, I think. Welcome to the tribe. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, Techspert is saying, uh, oh man, I am missing London. Oh my gosh, London's still here, man. London's waiting for you and with love as well, look. <laughs> London is cool. What's, what's that sound? I heard something. <gasps> Oh my gosh, could that be the vantage I saw earlier? I can, I can hear something idling. Or oh, is that the Aorus? Sounds more like a V8. But vantage is a V8 as well. Ah, oh, look at this, man. Perfect timing. Oh man, we couldn't have timed that any better, man. The Oros just left. One of two. Hopefully the other one is still there. And I'm about to leave as well. And we got ourselves two dogs going out for a walk. I think they're twins. Maybe not. Uh, both Oroses have left. Oh no. And so has the Vantage. Oh, that's sad. I'd love to have heard that one leave. Damn it. Maybe next time. But so sick. Amazing shops up in here, man. Pretty wild. Okay. Commenting time. So Max Larson said, fresh. Hell yeah. Yeah, London is awesome. And uh, Jason Peterson said, a uh, nice live stream. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully no technical issues today. Oh my gosh. It's kind of wild. All right. Let's squeeze through here. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Let's keep going through here. Okay. Let's go through here. Interesting artwork in the windows, man. Interesting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is going on here, man? What is going on here? 
That's different, man. Okay. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted, man. Yeah, I love doing live streams, man, especially like uh, like these ones. Just walking around and um, and seeing stuff. Anything cool here? You guys see anything? Nope, nothing sexy. Just a dude on a bike. What is that shop over there? Look at that, man. It's like all these like crazy displays in the windows. I mean, it's like, damn, what, what, what's up with this? Huh. I mean, look at this. This is like the wealthy part of London, man. Like a Knightsbridge is the most expensive, well, Knightsbridge, Mayfair. The most expensive places to live pretty much in the UK, I think. I once saw a house, like, a, like not even a house, man. It was like a two bedroom flat for like 28 million pounds. <laughs> oh my God, 28 million pounds for a two bedroom apartment, man. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke. Another Bentley. That's a shirt, man. That guy was camouflaged, man. In, in, in between the bushes, man. I didn't even see him <laughs> until the last minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Super Dreamy Car said, the hotel um, across the corner might have some cool car. Yeah, no, nah, they don't. I went there earlier. I decided to the stream and it's completely empty because, uh, because of COVID, they are closed until further notice from the government, is what they said. So everything's completely shut. I went to the Dorchester as well, and they're completely shut as well. There's like, not like hardly anything to see apart from like a Brabus and uh, I think a Rolls Royce. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, damn it. Just missed it. Maybe they're gonna come this way. I thought that was a G-Wagon. I just heard. Yeah, so all the hotels are still closed until further notice. So they don't have anything to see in the car parks. Which sucks. Which sucks balls, man. Um, so Super Dreamy Car said, oh, oh, oh pissed. Uh, make, some, uh, make some sense. Yeah, I know, Raz. Oh, hello. Hello. We find ourselves another car, man. But I don't know if this is more your bag. It's, uh, Oh uh, no, some people are not a fan of uh, of the Cali. So, oh, hello. <laughs> that Aventador is definitely not in sport mode or Corsa mode because it was quiet as hell, I almost missed it. But this is a, you know, Ferrari Cali, now being replaced with a Portofino. So the difference between this and the regular Cali is the fact that this is a Cali T. You can tell because uh, the pipes are vertical as opposed to horizontal. I learned this from Shmi. <laughs> so yes, yeah, a Portofino. I don't know what you guys think about it. Do you guys like it? I think they're okay, but I prefer the look of the new Portofino. I'm not so sure about the Cali though. The, because they look too much like a Maserati. It's not as cool, but it's not bad. I will not say no, I'll get one, and then if someone give me one, I'll probably sell it and get something else. So gateway car to the Ferrari ecosystem. So we're coming up to the Dorchester Hotel where I was earlier, where there was absolutely nothing, except this massive dope looking blacked out Brabus. I think it's still there. Huh? Oh no, it's left. Oh, for God's sake. No, it hasn't. The Rolls Royce has left. I don't know if you guys can see this, man. It's, uh, it's quite dark up in here, man. Look at it. This thing is so mean and so sick. Yeah, if you missed it earlier, it's got all kinds of, look, like carbon bits on it. And it is amazing. Big ass wheels. Oh, look at that. What the hell was that? All right, let's, let's leave, man. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It feels like there are more cars now than there were like an hour and a half ago, man. What's going on? What is going on?
Hey, have I missed anything here? Uh, Quarter might have some cool cars parked up. Uh, oh yeah, I read it already. Alright. Let's cross the road, man. Hey, that place over there is called, I think, Elan. In the summer, man, that place is so busy. I don't even know why. I don't know what they're selling there, but you see all kinds of hypercars and supercars parked right outside, man. So in the summer, definitely check it out. They are busy AF. Oh, no, I should have crossed. 45 Park Lane, another cool place to spot cars, for real. So ladies man said a uh, sexy Lambo. Yeah, for real man, that Lambo was quite nice. Just cruising by in the dark man, like in quiet mode as well. <laughs> Almost missed the damn thing man. So that is Hyde Park in there. Dark as hell. You see, there used to be like three lanes up in here. Now there's just two because the rest is like a bus lane and cycle lane, and uh, that's because of COVID. So yeah, things have changed, people. Things have definitely changed. Uh, Texpert said uh, they have good cakes. <laughs> Yeah, man, I think they sell cakes and, and probably tea and stuff. But so many people go there every single day to take Instagram photos. I don't know what it is. I need to go there and see for myself because I've never actually been in there. But it's, it's busy all year round, man. Summer, winter, it don't matter. Even now with COVID, there's still people in there as well. I think they're selling a cure for COVID in there, man. It's kind of crazy. The most popular place. I think in Mayfair, for real. Probably some serious expensive tea as well. Uh, <laughs> they have good cakes, I like that. I love Ferrari Roma. It looks fabulous. Yeah, man, it's like um, the Ferrari Roma, when it came out, it didn't get a lot of love initially on Instagram, but I can see what Ferrari are trying to do because uh, they're definitely going back to their, their old ways of doing things, isn't it? Okay, let me just flip the camera around, didn't it? Uh, okay, here we go. So, oh man, dark as hell. Uh, yeah, the Ferrari Roma, and also you could see in the Monza, they're going back to the old classic designs they had back in the 50s and 60s, isn't it? So, that's the new design language they're going after. And uh, yeah, yes. what's up? What's up, <laughs> What's going on? Are you guys cool? Yeah, you cool? Yes, yes. See, you gotta, you gotta love London, right? Everybody's super friendly, man. It's either that or they've been drinking something or maybe smoking something. I definitely smell something. <laughs> yeah, there's, someone's definitely been like uh, eating or well, smoking some vegetables, man. But yeah, people are happy up in here, man. Just kind of cool still. But what was I going to say? What is that? That sounds like a, a Ferrari. Uh, that looks like a Portofino. I think it's a Portofino. I don't know, man. It was just driving fast as hell. Uh, yeah, Ferrari are definitely changing the language, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like the, the Roma. It's cool. I definitely like it a lot. But anyway, back to High Park Corner. And uh, it's cool up in here. I don't even know what time it is right now. Is it 10 o'clock? <laughs> It's probably super late, man. Let me see if I see anything coming this way. Nope, turn the camera around, get ready. Just in case. Uh, no, just a bus, oh, that sucks. Yeah, keep on walking through here. Ooh, oh my God, okay. Let me see what you guys are saying. Uh, so I, I, read, I, read, I read Ferrari, blah, blah, blah. I love Ferrari Roma. It looks fabulous, I read that one already. 
I shot the green pista outside of there. Oh, nice. That's dope. That is so dope. Yeah, the pista is quite nice, man. I love the design of the pista as well. It's a different design language. It's more angular and more more than. Uh, where else is going on here? So BDT said uh, it's quite uh, claustrophobic. It's quite claustrophobic in that coffee place, in that coffee place. Not my style. Not crazy expensive, but not cheap either. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Why is it so popular? I don't know. It's a weird one. God damn, it's 1020. Damn, it's late as hell. Ramiz, what's up, man? I hope you're good. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how late it was. I gotta have my dinner and stuff, man. I haven't cooked my dinner yet. <laughs> I didn't realize how late it was. I was just thinking maybe it's nine o'clock. 1020. By the time I get home, I'm gonna be like way past 11, man. Wow, that's mad. I better walk faster then. Crazy how time just flies. Damn, peoples. You see, I'm, I'm walking faster right now. See anything in the traffic? Nope. So, thank you for that, BDT. <laughs> wow. Uh, peace out, Rockers. Said Ramiz. Peace out, man. See you in the next one, for real. Catch you guys on the next stream. And thank you for tuning in. And uh, thank you for still watching. <laughs> but we're almost uh, in Sloan Street. So once I get there, I will then end the stream. Just in case we see something else along the way. So you'll just never know. Ladies, man, as we said, uh, I've seen uh, a lot of 488s. Uh, in person now. Yeah, the thing is like in London We have so many 488s here that people don't even care anymore Like uh, most spotters will see a 488 and they don't even care like looking at it because it's so common here So 488s, 458s like a regular we see them all the time So they're not as exciting to see as like say in other parts of the world for example so uh, That is a uh, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. We're sport in London, man We see so many things Even like performances now There's, like people are, like yeah, it's just a performance but it's like, what? They're pretty cool cars still. So we're just chasing the latest and the greatest all the time, man. But sometimes it's good to appreciate what is here and now as well. So I don't know. But we have so much variety and choice and stuff. But I love that Super Leggera, man. I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. I love them. It's a really cool design as well. Epic in every way what kind of parking is this man i mean that's that's crazy what kind of parking is that <laughs> oh my days all right let me see what's going on here super dreamy cars uh nice stroke <laughs> you walk in the route i do spot cars uh i do to spot cars uh brings back memories man for real man this is a uh, yeah, the car spot I walk, man. In the summer, this is what we do. So I will probably do another, another one of these on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. If I can. I might do one tomorrow. I'll let you guys know on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, just check out Raucous TV on Instagram and uh, say what's up on there. I'm also on Twitter. It's the same name, at Raucous TV. Website, at Raucous TV. Another website, raucouswear.com. So everything's kind of very familiar. I try to keep everything the same. TikTok, at Raucous TV as well. So yeah. Can't wait for KHK to come back with his cars, man. When KHK gets here, that's when you know summer just got started. Him and B14. Imagine KHK B14 arriving at the same weekend or same day. That will break London for real. That will definitely break London, man.
Pretty crazy. Ooh. Madness. I feel like eating a chicken shawarma right now, man. Damn, man. This dude hungry. I'm hungry AF. Uh-oh, the police. Somebody in trouble, man. Yeah, the police were out in force at the weekend, man. Stopping all kinds of people. Hopefully not coming for me. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Is there anything in traffic? I don't know. Um, all right, comment. Whoa, okay. Ooh, got some interesting comments up in SVR. Wow, so quiet. Uh oh. Something crazy has definitely gone down. You got tandem bikes? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I have never ridden a tandem bike, man. Don't know what that's like. All right, we're kind of back in Nicebridge right now. Uh, I see a lot of police activity, man. They're all going up that way. I don't know what's going on down there, man. Something cray cream has been going on. But uh, yeah. There's traffic up in here, man. What's going on? Got a TT. What's going on down here? Oh, the Volante. Check it out. It sounds so good. Listen to that thing. We saw it earlier. Whoa, listen to that. That sounds pretty good. You guys you guys hearing that man? I think it's got a V8 in there, definitely sounds like a V8. <laughs> That's a beautiful sound for real. Alright, while we wait, I read your comments here. So we've got Super Ruby Car said I read it already. So ladies man said SV already. Uh, ladies man turn away SV said uh Jaguar XGT20 are super. Yeah, those cars are absolutely amazing. I love them. It's a shame they're just V6s though. I think they were meant to be V12, but then they ran out of money and stuff and they went with a V6. But they look so cool, even like in 2020 right now. Uh, ladies man said cool. I don't know if that you mean because of the Levante. Yeah, it's about to go. Still waiting. So BDT Transit, uh, who is the other guy you just mentioned apart from B14? So apart from B14, there's also another guy called KHK. So that hotel I just showed you guys over there earlier, that's basically where, I think he owns the hotel. Is this guy gonna leave or not? Should I wait or should I go? What do you guys think? Oh yeah, thank you very much uh, Techspert for like uh, letting BDT know about KHK. All right, I'll give him another 30 seconds and then I'll go if he doesn't like drive off and stuff. But that is a good sound, man. Damn. <laughs> Maserati is always sound good. Whoa. I don't think it's gonna move. I guess that's it. Let's keep on going, man. So that was the sound of the Maserati Levante. COVID. Harvey Nix. Kind of crazy. Hell yeah. See, this is what I like live stream, man. I like the 
the interaction see like are you ask a question and someone else in the chat can help with the answers as well and that's pretty cool that is pretty dope so we are back on sloan street where we all started man Why does this smell of poo up in here? Another Urus! We have seen quite a few Uruses today, man. Wow. I feel that guy just given up on life. He can't be bothered to roll his bag no more, man. He's dragging that across the floor. Look at all these shops. Everything costs cash money. There is nothing cheap on Sloan Street. I'll tell you that right now. I've never bought anything from these guys. <laughs> or from this guy. Or from any of these guys up in here. Damn. It's crazy. Oh my. Alright. Let's cross over. What is he doing? Oh, people. We have almost reached the end. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to end it. I can see that purple SVJ is still here. So I'm going to end it next to it, in case you missed it earlier. So that's how I'm going to end the video. We're going to end it down here. Man, that, it looks so cool, man even at night in the dark so ladies man said uh state state staten island new york has cool cars like muscle cars uh hot rods race cars and of course supercars man that's a whole kind of variety you got up in there yeah london is just more supercars and hypercars we don't have a lot of like uh hot rods up in here but this is where we all started, people. We're back, full circle. Purple Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks cool. I mean, there was a time on Sloan Street when the whole street was lined with these, with, with like Lambos and also Ferraris and supercars and hypercars and everything. It was crazy. But you don't see that much of it anymore. But this is pretty dope. So I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who tuned in. Uh, for this little walk through, uh, how can I say, Knightsbridge and Mayfair and then back again. So thank you very much for the likes and shares and subscriptions and all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next stream. Yes, this one is uh, Kasim's uh, Aventador SVJ that he bought like, literally less than a month ago. And uh, it's one of the coolest looking SVJs here. You can see a photo of this on my uh, Instagram. I shot it as it was zipping through Knightsbridge when I was quite sick. I love this spec, man. It's so crazy. But this is actually uh, an SVJ Roadster because uh, it's convertible, isn't it? That carbon roof bit here, it comes off, man. So you get to enjoy that amazing V12 that lives in there. Pretty wild. And uh, he didn't cheapen out. He went all out on the specs. 
Purple is definitely a bold color, man. <laughs> it is mad. 6.5 liter V12. I think it's 770 horsepower. It's like, a, yeah, a lot of power up in here, man. Massive exhaust. Low and mean. And uh, yeah, sounds pretty crazy as well. So yeah, so BDT, bye all and bye everybody. I'll catch you guys on the next live stream. Uh, catch you on the flip side. Stay safe as well, man. And uh, Jason, catch you guys later. Take it easy, peace out. What do you girls think? I don't like this color. You don't like, what, what color would you like? Bright pink. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. So yeah, they don't like the purple one. I guess they like it pink. Oh man, girls will be girls, man. But anyway, peace out. What's that? I just heard something. No, it's a bus. Oh no. Okay. Time to say goodnight.